What up? It's your boy Tech, and I'm about to tell you guys about the rumors that are come now coming out talking about the release date for the new iPhone 5 that is supposed to be coming out. So let's talk about some rumors. Okay, first off, citing sources in Taiwan technology supply chain, Big Eye Times reported on Wednesday, which is May 9th, 2012 that Petron, Pegatron technology has landed orders for Apple's 6th generation iPhone. Now that's the, of course the iPhone 5 which we are thinking is going to be called, they might call it the new iPhone like they call it the new iPad but it's the 3rd generation iPad but it's going to be the 6th generation iPhone. So citing sources are saying that they uh, Pegatron has landed the contract with Apple to build the fifth, well the iPhone 5 now the site believes that the, the iPhone 5 will be released in sometime in September. Now I know my friend he's talking about he's going to get it, he's getting all excited and stuff. Now we don't know this for sure but this is just what rumors are saying now. Hopefully it's true and hopefully Apple would release, I mean, uh, announce the iPhone 5 at WWDC. If you guys don't know what WWDC is, it's the Worldwide Developers Conference and it's held every year I think with Apple, stuff like that. Separately, the report also said that Foxconn, the you know, the people who also make stuff for Apple, well, most of Apple's products, that they are responsible for Apple's anticipated 7-inch iPad, uh, which arrives in August. Now, I don't know if that's the original release time for the, uh, that iPad, the 7-inch iPad, but we'll talk about those rumors in another video. But we're talking about the iPhone 5, so let's get back on topic. In addition, the report also claimed that Apple will be releasing a 10-inch iPad in the fourth quarter of 2012 year. So, I don't know exactly when the fourth quarter is, but you guys can go look that up. The fourth quarter, Apple is talking about releasing a 10-inch iPad. Now, that 10-inch iPad will be allegedly built by Pegatron. So, Pegatron might be taking that and, well, the 10-inch iPad and the uh, iPhone 5. So, let's find out. Now if you guys want to find out more information about this, the rumors about the 7 inch iPad and the 10 inch iPad, check it out in another video of mine that will be coming soon if it's not already up. So stay tuned to this channel for that and make sure you hit that subscribe button up there so you guys will know when I post that video up on my channel. So if you guys want to find out more information about those 7 inch and 10 inch iPad rumors, stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button up there. All right. Now let's talk about some spec rumors about the iPhone 5. Now it is expected that Apple's iPhone 5 will have 4G LTE, which means you're going to have 4G options, well, 4G services on your iPhone 5. Now that's what the rumors are saying. I don't know if those are true, but I think they are true because I don't, I don't, I don't think that Apple would do some crazy stuff like that and not put 4G on their new iPhone when there's already 4G in other companies that build phones like other smartphones like that doesn't make sense why wouldn't the big tech giant do that let me know what you guys think down in the comments about that now it is also expected that Apple's iPhone 5 will have a bigger screen now the previous iPhones they've had a 3.5 inch screen and I know Steve Jobs did not want to change the screen size because he loves the screen size on the iPod touches and the iPhones so he didn't want to change that so I'm guessing now that he's gone sadly that they're gonna actually actually change the screen size of the new iPhones and they might even change the iPod touches screen size but it is expected that the new iPhone 5 will have a 4 inch screen and I think that's kind of crazy because the apps that are already in their app store would have to be re like recoded so that it fits the whole entire screen and not the like half of it so it's going to be cut off at like certain points and there's going to be black bars at the top and bottom that doesn't make sense to me but hopefully they can find out a way to get that fixed and if sorry if you guys hear rain in the background it's like pouring outside of my house right now now of course if you're gonna have a bigger screen size you definitely have to have a bigger phone so apple is the well of course the previous iphones that was 115 millimeters tall and the new iPhone 5 is expected to be 125 millimeters tall. That's not really a big difference. It's about, I think, 10? Yeah, 10 millimeters difference. And it's going to be a half an inch screen size bigger than the previous iPhones. 
Now also rumors are saying that the iPhone 5 is supposed to have a retina display like the new third generation iPad. Uh, the retina display is awesome guys, like it is crispy clear, like it's not even funny. But let's hope that it does, those, that those rumors are true and that retina display does actually come to the iPhone 5. Because I plan on getting the iPhone 5, I don't know about you guys, let me know down in the comments if you plan on pre-ordering your iPhone 5. It's also expected that Apple's iPhone 5 is supposed to have a better camera, but I think it's actually kind of the same because the iPhone, if I'm correct, the iPhone 4 and 4S have a, also have an 8 megapixel eyesight camera, but there's supposed to be like an upgrade or something. I'm not sure about that, but they're saying it's supposed to have a better better camera, so I'll let you, I'll keep you guys up to date on that once I come out with a new, another iPhone 5 rumor roundup video. Now, it is, the rumors are saying that the new iPhone 5 is supposed to be the same price as the iPhone 4 and 4S, which, well, on all carriers, service providers, whatever you, you guys call them, I don't know why I put parentheses around that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys click the like button down there. That helps me out a lot, and I would very much appreciate it. And also, make sure if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button up there. And, well, yeah, if you want to see the iPad video and plus better videos and unboxings, stuff like that, make sure you click that subscribe button because I got a lot of videos coming soon. So stay tuned for that, and the way you can stay tuned is by clicking that subscribe button up there. All right, but also check out my daily vlogs that I do at www.youtube.com slash phipsarts. That's P-H-I-P-P-S-A-R-T-S, and that's at the bottom of your screen right now. Also, check out my live web show that I'm actually starting back up June 1st. Don't forget about that, June 1st, www.dnashow.webs.com. That's also at the bottom of your screen right now. And also, Make sure you guys click that subscribe button and the like button down there. And make sure you guys leave some comments on what you guys think Apple might do and might not do with the iPhone 5. Peace!